The incident in Ann Arbor has left tensions high across mid-Michigan. Fox 47's Christopher Lane shows us how the Islamic Center of East Lansing is responding and how they hope to stop hatred with friendship. Fasin Sardar says hearing about a woman in Ann Arbor being threatened to be set on fire if she didn't take off her hijab is discouraging. I'm hoping that this is a random act and not one that can be that will be repeated. Sadar of the Islamic Center of East Lansing tells me it's tough to see hatred across Michigan, but he thinks if the community unites, it will help stop hatred. We feel that uh, we all uh, need to come together to make sure that no single person, particularly children, are intimidated uh, in our communities. That intimidation almost came to the doors of the Islamic Center of East Lansing on Friday. A protest was being organized on Facebook, but supporters got there before protesters did. There was actually a couple who were here, a young couple, that were holding a sign that said, um, Muslims make America great too. More supporters came quickly, and Sardar tells me that support was heartwarming for the Islamic Center in light of events across the country. This is the, uh, this is the positive side of America that the world needs to see. He and the University Lutheran Church pastor Sarah Midzalkowski, who coordinated supporters on Friday, hope that the friendship can keep intimidation away and reassure groups that they aren't hated. In the wake of uh, a lot of unfortunate violence and hatred uh, in the past, well, since the election and before, um, that people knew that they were being loved. They hope events like the one on Friday will be a good start. In East Lansing, Christopher Lane, Fox 47 News. The Islamic Center and the University Lutheran Church are going to hold a joint event to have a post-election conversation. That event will be on December 1st at the Islamic Center of East Lansing.